Hello, my fellow Bar None Nation. This is Chris, and this is Bar None 11970. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And um, a couple of days ago, actually a week, week and a half ago, I was talking about how I made my first silver purchase this year. I was waiting for a dip. And uh, here's an article, and this is courtesy of the bullyondesk.com, and I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, I'm not going to read the whole article. But this is something that I talk about all the time, where I say that everything could be fine, and then all of a sudden, in an instant, something happens that can affect the market in a up or down way, in a very serious way. So let's read this article. Uh, this is uh, an article that just came out today. Severe landslides across key transport routes have caused several metal mines in Peru to cancel or delay shipment of concentrates to their customers, sources told Fast Markets. Peru, which is home of some of the world's biggest mines for zinc, lead, copper, and silver, have been hit by the heaviest, its heaviest rains in 20 years, according to its government, part of El Nino-related extreme weather, weather patterns. And I'm just going to skip down to the bottom of this part. In quotes, transportation from all mines has severely been affected. This has prompted shipments to be either canceled or postponed. So I'm going to show you how much silver has risen just today alone. So let me show you that. Okay, so here we go. Here is the current prices of precious metals. We see it's affecting all of the metals. Now gold the least because um, they're, they're not talking about gold in these particular mines, but people will rush to precious metals when they see there are any kind of events that could affect the economy, especially of a country, you're seeing gold up about a little about seven and a half dollars. But you see, look at silver. Silver is up 52 cents right now at 1568. Now, to somebody that's new to this, they might think, wow, 50 cents, that's no big deal. Well, the average move of silver is anywhere from seven to eight cents on any normal regular day. So to go that high, and that's so far, is a big turnaround. Now, hopefully some people took the advice that I was talking about with that dip the other week and that special that uh, one of the eBayers was selling. Now, I put 10 ounces of silver. They were one ounce silver bars, 10 of them total. And I paid 156.80 with free shipping. So $15 and 60 some odd cents an ounce. Let's see what those actual same that same auction let's see how much they're charging for them now okay so i couldn't find the actual auction where i purchased they may have taken that off because i scrolled up and down and could not find it but this is the cheapest silver that i could find on ebay for 10 ounces this is a sunshine mint now you saw that's what i bought but i bought the one ounces and there were 10 of them it came out to actually 156.80 so 15 dollars and 68 cents an ounce and right now the price is 172 so you now go from under 16 dollars an ounce to over 17 dollars an ounce which may not seem like a big deal but that just means now to buy that same 10 ounces it cost almost about 20 dollars more which means 20 dollars more in somebody else's pocket as opposed to my own so these are the things i'm talking about when it comes to these events, all of a sudden, things can just change in an instant. You think everything's fine, everything's hunky-dory, everything's going the way it's supposed to, everything's mundane and routine. Then all of a sudden, an event happens, and it can change everything in an instant. And unfortunately, the majority of people that sit there procrastinating or doubting that these things will ever happen or pretend like, la, 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 everything's fine, nothing ever can happen... They're the ones, and that's 95 to 99% of the people out there, are going to wake up and see something happen, and it'll be too late for them to do anything about it. And that's why channels like mine and many others are trying to not scare you, because I don't want anybody to use fear to do this. This is not about getting scared and saying, oh my god, i got to do something to protect myself. No. When you get insurance for your car, you don't sit there saying, oh my God, I bought insurance for my car. Does that mean I'm about to get into an accident? And what happens? Am I going to die? Am I going to lose? It? No, you don't think that way. You just say, I have that just in case because I could have my car parked in a parking lot and somebody backs into it by mistake while I'm in the store shopping. And now I have a way to protect myself. 
and it'll be covered. The repairs will be covered. It doesn't have to be fear. Now, of course, they like you to be scared because, and I've said on several um, several videos, it lowers your vibration and makes you an easier target. Whether you understand that or believe that or not is irrelevant, but this is what I'm talking about. So if you were like me and took advantage of that pretty decent dip about a week and a half ago and purchased your silver then, well, guess what? You got it a lot cheaper. And who knows how long this will be? Um, if it's Is it still raining there? Are the mines completely flooded? Do the landslides make it where it's going to take weeks, months, or years to reopen them again? How much do they have available? Because I'm sure it's not going to affect them right away, but that means future shipments are going to be affected, which could dramatically increase the price even more. So what you, ladies and gentlemen, decide to do with your own lives, that's that's for you to, to decide. I'm not here to tell you what to do. That's why when I bought that silver, I didn't say, oh, you got to go out and buy it. I'm giving you suggestions. So what you do is totally up to you. But if you are saying, oh, I better get silver now because it may be on the rise, who knows? Because it can, they can try and do something to shoot it down again. I'm not going to suggest that they can't. But if they can't control it because of something like this, and all of a sudden there is a massive shortage of production, because like that article said, it's one of the biggest mines, the world's biggest mines for silver and also copper. They talk, talk about zinc and lead, but not as many people invest in zinc and lead unless you have a lot of firearms. But that could be um, <laughs> increases in bullets too. So if you're one of those people that has 5,000 different kinds of guns, you may want to go out and buy some bullets now while the prices are still cheap because I'm sure lead will kind of go up a little bit. But what I'm saying is these things can happen in an instant, and if you are not prepared and you get things too late, yeah, you might still be able to get it because I'm not going to suggest all of a sudden you're going to go on every website and they're all going to be gone, but you're going to pay more. How much more? It depends on how long you wait and how severe the situation is. So I just thought I would report this. Like I said, um, I'll post the article link in the description below, so if you want to read the entire thing, you can. Let's hear your comments. Give it a thumbs up and share it, and just... You know, be careful. Life can change in an instant. I've tried to warn people, and it's better to be five years too early than five seconds too late. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.